Hello, Grace Church. I'm Alan Weisenberger. This is an exciting time as we plan to meet together this Sunday after being apart for so long. God uses challenging times to strengthen our character, and I hope that we all continue to take advantage of these circumstances to acquire strength that will be with us long after the crisis ends. For example, we've seen how absence really does make the heart grow fonder, and it gives us a glimpse into why God sometimes takes things away from his people in order to increase our appreciation for what we have. But I do hope that in our joy at seeing each other, even through masks and at a distance, our biggest joy this Sunday comes from the opportunity we have to bring joy to God through our corporate worship. So it's towards that end that I want to challenge us to make our time together this week truly unique. As you can probably imagine, this Sunday is going to offer a lot of unusual challenges. We've never met this way before, and there are bound to be some disappointments and logistical hiccups along the way, each of which creates an opportunity for our enemy to rob us and each other of our joy. And that robs God of the glory he deserves. And that leads me to my challenge. Let's make a special offering to the Lord this Sunday, an Ephesians 4.29 offering. Let no corrupting talk come out of your mouths, but only such as is good for building up as fits the occasion, that it may give grace to those who hear. Rather than give voice to every disappointment, imperfection, and unfilled desire on Sunday morning, let's dedicate ourselves to holding back the critique and only giving voice to whatever is true, honorable, just, pure, lovely, and commendable, as Philippians 4, 8 says. Let's focus on the things that are excellent and worthy of praise. We can express our constructive suggestions later, but I think God will be really blessed if for these few hours he heard nothing but grace-filled speech from each of us. Of course, I'm sure he, like the rest of us, will have grace for those of us who make the occasional slip into our old habits, but who knows, maybe this will inspire a new habit. So let's come together Sunday morning with hearts of gratitude intent on pleasing God with every thought of our hearts and every word from our lips.